Give me game. Let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Yo, Gibby gang, stand up with your boy. I'm just here so I don't get fined by my A7X family because by now you already know my beliefs. You already know I've done like 30 something Avenged Sevenfold reactions. This is Blinded and Changed, City of Evil uh, album. Check if I can pronounce my English. Like I caught it just in time. We did Seize the Day. Y'all requested this a ton on that. It was the top comment, so I gotta dive into it. Looking at uh, what it means, it says it's a societal critique of how many are blinded by their sometimes wrong beliefs. The song appears in the very, very popular racing game. Game, Need for Speed Most Wanted, where it's been somewhat shortened and censored. So this one, I believe I got the full version. I got the lyric version. So y'all know I'm a Christian man. Y'all know I'm a conservative. Y'all know I voted for Donald Trump clearly on my wall, not taking it down until we get a new president, if we get a new president. Either way, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear what they got to say, man. We're here for the music. We're here for the, the noggin thumpers. Throw them things on. Hopefully, it's Liddy Infinity Gibbies. I had to take off my, uh, my uh, what did I take off? I took my hat off so that I could just fully grasp what's going on and go straight through my, my eardrums and straight to the equilibrium. Banger shades close by. Haters, we ain't got no time for y'all today, so that could sit on the floor just like y'all can. Let's get it popping. Oh, that's a long one. Hold on. Who is that with it? Dun, 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 dun. I know Rev back there drumming it up. RIP to the Rev. It's been like how, like 11 years since the Rev died. RIP. You will always be missed. You left a legacy. But Rev on the drums. Who is Is that Sinister Gates? Is that Johnny Christ? Is that Zacky Vengeance? Who is it? Because I know Shadow's about to come in and, and judge all the folks. Come on. Doing a victory lap? This is when you won the race in the Oh, they're about to rip somebody's head off. Somebody's head is getting ripped clean off. know what instrument I want to play. Hold on, bring it back. Hey, we don't miss any solos around here. We pause, we respect it, and, and we come back to it. But, hey man, I don't know who he's judging right here. He said something about the blind and they pray, but they're blind. And I don't know. It, I, it's a slippery slope when it comes to Avenged Sevenfold because before the Rev died, you would have thought that they leaned Christian and that they actually believed in God and believed it in the Bible and, and stuff that I believe in. But after the Rev died, like, hey man, that, that Dear God song that I did, they, they just... I don't know, man. I don't know which way to go, but they're coming at like the the political leaders in this one. They're the, man, which y'all are entitled your own beliefs. I'm entitled mine, but I'm I'm about to dish out some mumbo jumbo. They got me all rattled with that one minute and twenty one second intro. That thing was a vibe. I had a whole spiel ready. Right Not no more. But it wasn't a scene. Well, what? I'm not judging every action And there's the thing in your mind with the shit You forget how to speak, how to ask all the questions <laughs>
Ela tá lá, você tem que ver. Que ela They use that that same uh, sequence of drums right there, it, what, or I don't know, if, is that drum? I'm scatterbrain. I don't know what's going on, but they use that in multiple different songs. Is it Mad Hatter that had like the similar tone? Y'all let me know in the comments, but hey man, <laughs> play it out. Oh! Well, they got me thinking, and this y'all can tell I'm in deep thought. Normally, I would have done ranted 10,000 times already. We got two minutes and 34 seconds left, but hey, man, the way Shadows is laying it out, like, or, or you got to ask questions sometimes. I love a, a, a diverse world. I love unique. Of course, I want people to agree with me, and I always want to be right and things like that, but at, at some point, you got to take a step back and say, you know what? God created each individual unique. Obviously, he wants people to believe in, in his son, Jesus Christ, and, and look to his good word, but some people just, it takes longer for them to get on that good, on that right path, and they, they got to find their own way. So I think the world is a beautiful place because all of us have our your own unique beliefs. All of us vote for different things. All of us look different, sound different. Like, you're unique. So don't don't let people control what you think and, and not have your own thoughts. But also, don't think just because you think a certain way that that is the right way. I th there's only one way, in my opinion, and, and that's God's way. That's the only right way. So if you're thinking a different way, obviously I think you're wrong. But to each their own. That, that's what the beautiful thing about this channel. I'm going to listen to music that challenges my thoughts. You're going to listen to my opinion, which may challenge your thoughts. So is what it is. It's a beautiful place. But one thing we can come to agreement on it, that we're not blinded by is this song. The instrumentals that they intertwined with this one, <laughs> this is legendary. This, I like this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think and, and decipher what's going on, but at the same time, I'm vibing out, going crazy, limbs flying, flaring. <laughs> That country music? What? They got like country rock and roll. Y'all weren't lying. The breakdowns in this are epic. We're clean these woods on her.
my favorite. This is my favorite. You know what's great? Hold on. Wait a second now. You know what the beautiful thing is? Society, uh, whatever society you're located in, whatever society you're a part of, the beautiful thing is I don't have to, I, I believe I don't have to choose which is my favorite. Now that one, that's one of my top three favorite breakdown songs of Avenged Sevenfold that I've heard. And I, I know I still got a lot to hear. I know I haven't finished the City of Evil album, but that right there, man, eh? Blinded in chains, it don't matter if you're chained down, you're, you're free as a bird out there, free willy nilly in it and going crazy. But when it comes to that sound, that's, that's one of my favorite breakdown sequences over and over and over again. They let Clint Eastwood come in the back door, hit some rock and roll country. They they went like, I don't even know how to how to decipher what I just heard. Like, y'all let me know what you think down below. What's, what's your top three Avenged Sevenfold songs down below? A thousand likes easy on this video. Y'all gotta make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Social media up top. Hit that notification bell so next time I post an A7X reaction, you're notified. Shout out to the whole crew, man. The Rev, M Shadows, uh, the RIP to the Rev. The Rev, M Shadows, uh, Zachy Vengeance, Johnny Christ, and uh, Sinister Gates, of course. I gotta keep, keep rolling with the names and, and keep Boy, I'm <laughs> I'm scatterbrained to the max. I don't know how to break that down. Like I really don't. So it don't matter if you're Christian, you're atheist. If you're on this channel, I welcome you. Of course, I want you to believe what I believe. But I mean, you gotta find your own way. And if you're struggling, you gotta find a way to look up and ask for advice and and ask what you can do better. If you if you think you got it all figured out, then wake up from denial because you don't. I don't. You don't. Only God is right all the time, and only God knows what's gonna happen. But either way, man, set that over here for now. Uh, What's the next one we doing? Blinded and Chains, that's one of my favorite ones that I've done. I know I say that each each and every Avenged Sevenfold reaction, but they only keep getting better. I'm 30 something, 33, 34 deep on my A7X reactions playlist. Go check that thing out. If you ever wanna find out what songs I've done, search D Gibby A7X in the uh, search bar or Avenged Sevenfold D Gibby, something will pop up. But either way, man, y'all have a blessed day. Keep, keep on praying, 2021 is gonna be a whole lot better. We know this, but for right now, D Gibby, out. So you want to learn how to trade. You've made it to this point in the video. By, by this time, it's the end of the video and you want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to do what your boy does for every every single day. I teach people how to do it. I've been doing it, but I don't think you really have what it takes to do it. If you do, you'll get a hold of me via Instagram, via email, whatever it takes. Don't believe the hype that you see on Instagram as far as like I am Academy and I'm calling them out. All them them special gurus that make it seem easy, that send out signals that, that give you money in the bank. It's not money in the bank. You got to put in the work time after time. It's going to take you a solid six to 12 months to you heard what I said six to 12 months to really attain this skill set and be able to discipline yourself to be consistent in making money it's not gonna happen overnight nobody can just hand you money if people are handing out signals and they're handing out all this and that it's fake don't believe the hype man they don't allow anybody to put to put your money in their hands man you got to learn how to do this skill set on your own so you don't have to rely on anybody to trade but yourself man so if you're if you're serious about it if you're tired of the situation you're in you see what i've done over the past five years you see how i've worked my way from from being from illinois to living on the beach in florida i'm not going to say where because it just disclosed information y'all see this post on instagram y'all see where i'm at i'm not doing that to flex i'm saying what's possible through trading after you put in the hard work time and time again if you really want to learn Get a hold of me. I would love to help you. If not, if you're happy with your present lifestyle, that's perfectly okay. I'm not on a pedestal. You're not on a pedestal. We're all on the same page. I'm just saying if you want to learn another skill set and acquire some, whether it's a supplemental income or a full-time income, I'd love to help you. So get a hold of me and we'll make it happen. If not, man, y'all have a blessed day. I'm gone.